Yo, welcome to the video. Kyle Wilson here, and in this one, we have Gary V himself addressing the VV and the Omi fam. All right, let's go ahead and just dive into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that sub and bell so you don't miss any more videos like this. All right, let's just go ahead and roll that clip. Yo, what's good, everybody? Just making this quick video because I saw my interview with Dan. Dan, thanks for the interview. Um, just commentary on VV, like, just so there's no confusion. A, I'm cheering for fucking VV like crazy. B, I don't love talking about things in general when I'm not 100% sure or haven't done the homework. I haven't gone hardcore on VV enough yet to really know what I think. You know, I'm, I'm seeing the headlines, you know, like through my stream, like now on Immutable, I love layer twos, but like, let there be no confusion. I don't have, even, in my small investments compared to my career in Recur or Candy, like, I'm fucking cheering for everybody. I don't think, the biggest issue right now in this space is people think that this is an or game. With the amount of meaningful IP in the world, um, Vivi, Solana, ETH, Candy, Recur, Dapper, the world is abundant. Like, everybody can win. It's gonna come down to execution who executes and who doesn't. And you know, for me, when I'm putting my name on, like this is gonna work, like I feel comfortable about crypto punks. But like, like I said the other day, like I'm just learning, like I don't know if Wolf Game's gonna win or not, but there's enough there on the game in Canada. So I'm like, let me check out if this could become the Axie Farmville of ETH. I don't know if the first Spider-Man on BB works, but like I will absolutely look into that. You just can't get to everything all, the time, people are airdropping me projects, I'm getting a thousand DMs, I'm running a massive company, so for the BB community, just want you to know, like, I got fucking love for your red circles. I just don't have enough information. I haven't, I'm not good enough yet, because I haven't dug and clicked and looked into it. I had my BB meetings early, I just haven't gotten quote unquote around to it, but fucking, I think everybody can win. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think about that video. I thought it was crazy cool that he took time out of his day to address the community. By the way, your boy right here is uh, responsible for that big red circle. So make sure you smash the like if you're liking this video and smash it for that big red circle if you like that big red circle as well. But anyways, uh, yeah, now if you didn't know, now you know. But it wouldn't have been possible without the community. But anyways, yeah, from a crypto side, you know, there I don't know, from all these different perspectives, right? Uh, for one, the crypto side, maybe he doesn't want to shout out VV just yet. Maybe he's not ready for it because I get from the interoperability standpoint, uh, what, like you basically have to put your reputation on the line if you're going to give some something like VV a shout out. But I think that's less of a talking point the closer we get to Immutable X. And once we're on there, I think a lot of minds and perspectives will change. Maybe that's Gary, maybe not. I can't speak for him right now. You know, I've heard some people, you know, make some points and things like that, but I just don't want to draw speculation because at the end of the day we don't know but i'm just sharing my opinions on it um he also is a business person you know he he has his nft business and media company he's a successful entrepreneur so i could get why from that perspective if he didn't want to give vv a shout out there to me it makes sense it you know from gary he's got his reasons right like he said in his video directly you know it could just be he's just busy and he hasn't had time to sit there and dig into it when he's got about a billion other things going on so like i said at the end of the day, to me, uh, it all makes sense either way. There's a couple different ways you could you could spin it, but Gary addressed it. He clarified it, and uh, we have to take him at his word for that. So, um, like I said, I respect Gary, and I bought 36 of his books. You know, so and I've learned a lot from from listening to him over the years, and you know, from social media to running my YouTube channel, everything like that. So I got big respect for Gary, and I, I thought it was super cool that he came out and addressed the community and clarified everything. But let me know what you guys think below and as always i'll see you guys in the next one at the blockchain and in the next video as always be like an nft be authentic peace